What's up, everybody? Jumping here. <laughs> Alright, actually, looks like I need to switch my armor back up. Had the wrong armor on. Let's see here. My helmet, too. There it is. Wait, do I not have an enchantment on that helmet? I do not. Oh, well, crap. Well, oops, it looks like I have to enchant this helmet later. I totally forgot to put the enchantments on the helmet. Alright, well, anyway, that doesn't matter. We'll do, I'll do that later. Alright, so let's come in here, fight these enemies. It's, um, it's like a, a gambler's den, where all these people are like, I guess, gambling? <laughs> I don't know, it's a skooma, it's basically, it's a skooma den, is the best way to put it. There's also the, all these pit, all these, um, pit wolves and stuff in here, so I'm gonna take these guys out. I mean, there's quite a few enemies in here. Barkeeper. Kind of funny taking them Alright, nothing too powerful. Now that everything's dead, that is a big wolf. That is a huge, this looks like a dire wolf. Alright, whatever. That thing was huge. Alright, basically, the reason why this place is awesome, let's go and open up this bad boy, is that you can level up your conjuration. You can come back, you can come to this cave anytime you want. And generally, you won't have to worry about, like, uh, this ever being messed up. Alright, let's take a look. Anything up here? Moon sugar. But alright, so right here there's two cages, and in the cages you have two pit wolves. So, what you can do is you can actually go ahead and level up your conjuration this way. Let me go ahead and promote it. I really don't really like doing this, but whatever. Actually, I don't really it doesn't really matter. Alright, so conjuration you can use a whole bunch of different spells. I'm going to just do some bound swords because I don't have any type of armor or nothing like that to uh, do it. Actually, the best way to really do this is to uh, just summon the left one because I'm trying to remember how to do it right. I know if you, I know you can like summon the left one and then cancel it. Something like that. Or at least it's quicker. Yeah, that's what it is. It's just quicker to summon it over and over again. But you get the idea, so you can just kind of stand here. I guess I'll use my highborn real quick just to keep showing this. So, yeah, you can just put it away. Summon your left one. Summon's quick. Put it away. Summon. And, yeah, you just keep doing this until you level up your conjuration all the way. This is a really good place. Obviously, you can do this anywhere in the game um, that you want to. Like, um, a lot of people do it with slaughterfish in water because they won't attack you. you. Just stand there and keep doing this. I personally like this area the best because it's two enemies and you can just stand here and keep doing this. Why the hell not? So, you know, this is a really good trick. So try to remember this cave. I'll put it on the map before I leave just to give you a general idea. Just in case you've done this quest and you might not remember where it actually is. That's enough though. Alright, let's get out of here. I'll come back here later maybe and continue to level that up. All right, let's see. You can also you can uh, you can use any conjuration. I can never for some reason like when I try to like summon um allies like it seems like it, the higher level spell I would imagine would maybe like level it up quicker. But for some reason when every time I I summon allies it doesn't seem like I ever level up all that quick. It seems like I level up the fast. Oh god. And yeah, these guys are they got out. So let's go ahead and kill these wolves real quick. Leave me alone. Where's this other one? The other one ran away. Little bastard. Whatever, we'll just leave him. Alright, so here's the place. Um, it is a cavern. And it is just north of Ripton. And a little bit southeast of Windhelm. Idea. So also, that's where we need to go for the college's quest, but to get a general idea of where everything is. Alright, so that's that. All right, now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and do this um, lexicon. Now, believe me, where is this lexicon quest? Let's see here. Here we go, yeah. Alright, now that's a little bit out the way, so it's not too far. 
I guess I can just run there. Not a big deal. Let me get away from these enemies. Or that one enemy. Alright, keep moving. Come on. Alright, there we go. Now this quest I really do think is important to do. I, I it's it's almost a must in my books just because if you're talking about smithing and enchanting and all that this quest, this perk that you acquire, Ancient Knowledge, is amazing. It gives you 15% better smithing. Now, the only problem, though, is that... Well, not it's not a problem. But what I normally like to do is to wait until I can become a Necromage. So that when I acquire it, it will be a higher percentage. And that's forever. Even if I'm not a, even if I'm not a vampire anymore it doesn't matter as long as I was a vampire when I got the, the perk that's all that actually matters alright so this should be right over here now also there's an orc um, an orc thing over here I should maybe go over there and do this as well while I'm in the neighborhood ah, I guess I'll do it it's right over here there's a lot of bears in these woods as well it's like a little tiny quest. You have to kill like 20 bears or collect 20 bear pelts. And this is probably the best place to do it in this general area because there's tons of bears. Alright, but this place over here is being attacked by a giant. So let's go ahead and kill the giant. Uh, these orcs. Oh, God. What am I doing? Oh, stabbed him right in the chin. Awesome. Alright. Oh crap, I'm getting attacked by a bear. See what I'm saying with the bears? There's so many bears. And I always loot bears because um, the bear claws are really good. Forgive Ugar's harsh words. She's merely doing as she's been told. Please, our tribe suffers and we need help. Our chief Yamaz was once a strong and proud warrior. Now he is stricken, cursed. He is weak, and so our tribe is weak. The giants sense this and intrude on our territory. Now they assault our very home. Yamars refuses help, but I sense that you may be just what we need. Yamars has demanded we stay inside the walls. We cannot leave. I must petition Malakath for relief. This curse must be lifted, but I cannot travel to Malakath's shrine. The ritual must be done here, and I do not have the materials I need. I beg of you, can you bring me troll fat and a daedra heart? I have no wish to depend on a stranger, but I have no choice. You do not know of Malakath? He is the keeper of oaths, the master of curses. He is quick to anger and slow to forgive. One who wrongs Malakath is one who will endure great torment in return. He demands loyalty and strength from his orcs. We have tried to please him, but he is now angry with us, and so we suffer. All right. Please. All right, so we can come back here later once we get the troll fat. I should have a danger card on me. Maybe I don't. But once you get the materials, you can come back and do that quest. I'll do it later, though. Alright. We still need to come over here and do this quest. Yeah, like I was saying, though, if you do wait to become a Necromage, the percentage would be higher. So. And that goes with every perk in the game. Every single one. Any type of perk that you might get randomly from, um... I need some healing. Any perk in the game that you would get, um, like a permanent perk, for example, like there's a lot of them. I can't really describe like how many or which ones. I can't. They're not coming to me right now. But any any of those, if you wait to acquire those until you're a necromage, uh, when you get them, you'll get a higher percentage. And what's cool is that even if you're not a vampire later, you'll still have the higher percentage forever. So that's really useful. So keep that in mind. And that also goes with your own perks as well. Like, now that you can respect with Dragonborn, and you can also promote with the Legendary update, like, um, you can get 100% spell absorption. Now that's not supposed to be possible, but it is possible now because of Necromage. I don't like this place. Alright. It feels like... And there's a lot of dialogue here. 
I'm just skipping it though. I hate to do that, but I just want to get this done as quick as possible. This is quite a long quest, I'll be honest. Um, if you listen to all the dialogue, that is. It's pretty short if you don't, but kind of long if you do, so we're just going to run through most of this. You need to go forward right here. It gets a little confusing. You might go up a little. You, you might go up. You don't need to go up though. All right, come on, bring it out. Alrighty, now that he's dead, we can just keep going. So let's go. There's a lot. You know, there's going to be enemies, obviously. But none of the Dwemer enemies are really that tough. The only one that can be a nightmare. It are the Centaurians. The Centaurians can destroy you very quickly. That steam attack is just like death. Oh, another really bad one is uh, not an enemy, but it is in these ruins, which is the the blades. Like it's a trap. Like the trap blades that pop up. Those things can kill you so fast if you're not careful. The spiders are a freaking like joke. Like. No matter what level or anything, like there's just a giant joke, and you fight so many of these. All right, you need to go through this door. I think you got to go through like two. Oh no 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 no! We can keep going. We're gonna be talking some more right there. Now we get to go through a door and go to the loading screen. This quest is cool though. Like I I do like this quest. In general, like it is interesting if you want to sit there and listen to all the dialogue, because um, the Dwemer are just—they're so weird and mysterious. They have like technology. Obviously, they have machines. That's just so crazy that they actually were able to create machines. But besides that, um, the lexicons are pretty much the one I have and also just in general lexicons because you there's another lexicon as well for the danger quest to get the, the book for the Ogma Infinium. Yeah they this is funny though they can't open the door. Anyway um yeah but the lexicons are basically like memory cards they're almost like uh chips like computer chips or something like it's really crazy like that they can actually like um preserve uh memories and a whole bunch of other information on them so it's kind of crazy man all right i don't think that's the right way yeah nothing special in there oh fuck! that's what i'm talking about <laughs> god oh god oh man that was terrible that's what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, that can happen, and that sucks. That was so fast. Generally, if that does happen, you should be okay. But I guess on Legendary, it's no joking around. Like, that killed me. I didn't even know what happened there. So you gotta watch out for things like that, because those are really bad. Alright, note to self, do not go in that room, because there's that trap. Alright, let's just go on. That sucked though, but at least I got the auto save. Like that's one of the dying in this game is kind of it, well, it can be really bad because this game goes so heavily off of the auto save. Um, or at least that's the way I play. I don't I don't save it all that much. Normally when I do videos, I do save quite a bit, but uh, when I normally play, I just I rely on my auto save a lot to like back me up, but. That's also a problem because if you play a long, long time, right? So you're playing for a long time, and you are just relying on auto saves, and you die, and you haven't had one in a long time, you're gonna have to do a lot of stuff again, and that can be a nightmare. So you definitely want to save. I mean, it's Skyrim. I think we all know this now, but saving is your friend. I mean, it really doesn't matter either because every Every file you make, every new character you make, all that, like, it's all, it's all, like, on the same save files. And that kind of drives me crazy because, you know, if you play this game, like, five or six times and you beat it, you're going to have, like, a thousand saves. Like, I have 300 saves. And that's pretty nice because I've had, like, six or seven files, but that's just, li that's, that shows how little I actually save it. And I probably already saved it like 20 times since I already started the, doing these videos, so that just gives you a general idea. Alright, there's a lot of spiders in here. 
There's actually some centurions, some dead ones. Like non-active ones. You should always search these guys because they have Daedric arrows, they'll have the oil, which isn't really important. And they'll have like uh, grand soul gems and stuff. So that's always nice. Yeah, they always have like they'll normally have like a couple flawless gems and um, maybe a grand soul gem. That's kind of like iffy. Where the heck do I need to go? I think I need to go over here. Let's check it out. Nope, I'm lost. No, no, no. There it is. There it is. Yeah, we gotta go up here. It's confusing because you drop and then you gotta go right back up. But whatever. All right. Here's one of the people. He's dead. You know, God knows he's been dead for a while, but yet his body's not rotten, or it's not rotting, all that. It's not decomposing. Alright. And right there, you can watch the little cut, little scene where he actually is like, I can't do this, oh no, and he runs off, and then he just randomly dies. I don't know how he died, but <laughs> they don't really show all that. Alright. Let's keep going. Get ready to get my stamina back. Pretty close to the uh, being done here. Just a little bit more. There's like some enemies underneath you right there. Yeah, look. It's weird. It's kind of glitchy. He kind of just he teleported through the stairs to come attack me. Bastard. All right, let's keep going. I should be looking out for some cogs. You know, there probably would have been a couple cogs. I need those for a oh, watch out. This is uh one of those parts. So be careful. Just jump over the side like that, and you'll be fine. Here's another one of the people that was with um, with her. So this is it. This is the final battle, and it is a bitch because there was two of these things. They killed one. Now I have to fight the other one. Yeah, there's that steam attack. That steam attack is devastating. Make sure to dodge it. All right, Grand Soul Gym. See what this guy has. He has another grand soul gem. Nice. All right. The second you put the lexicon back, you'll get the perk, ancient knowledge. Let's take a look. Active effects. It gives you 25% more bonus to wearing dwimmer armor or, or whatever, dwarven armor. Like I said, that was glitched, but they fixed it, and um. Originally, it was that if you got the perk, it was just a 25% boost to all armors. Now, they fixed it. It's just Dwarven armor. That's it. And also, it says blacksmithing increases 15% faster. Now, that that's confusing, but I'm 100% confident that that is a 15% um, fortification to blacksmithing or smithing. All right, let's get the hell out of here, though. So, that's that quest for you. I think it's important to do early, because at this point on, when I make something, like, everything I uh, smith will be better. So, talking about weapons and all that, there you go. Alright, leave a body here. What the, what's out here? Oh, yeah. Basically, yeah, I, you have to leave. Like, this was, like, that top part. I think you can, like, leave from the very top, too. Or in fact, you have to leave from up here because there is no way. Uh, I might be talking on my ass here. All right, yeah, no, no, this is the way out right here. Yeah, there actually is no way back from where we came because we took that drop down. So you have to leave out the top. I'm trying to think, what quest do I want to do next? I think I'll continue doing a little bit of Dawn Guard. Because I really do want to get that done. Because I've been attacked so many times by vampires. And it's really annoying. I mean, it gets super annoying. And, um... I, I, I think, though, if I would have chose the vampire side... I don't know if this is true or not. Would the vampires not attack towns? Because they... I don't think they actually attack towns. I think they attack me. And I just so happen to be in the town. 